Okay, so I just wanted to show my uh, my most recent project that I'm working on. It's going to be uh, uh, super capacitors or bulk capacitors, battery storage uh, level capacitors. And uh, yeah, I haven't really started working on anything yet. I've just been doing a lot of research, reading every single scientific paper that I can that I can find on the subject. Um, anything I can read about graphite, the production of graphene from graphite, graphene oxide, nanoparticles, uh, nanotubes, nanostructures, all that crap. Um, I've been reading a lot about it and I keep on running into different methods that use different ingredients and different um, substrates and different dielectric materials and yeah, all that stuff. And every time I find a new um, patent that I want to follow or a new technique that I want to uh, attempt um, I, I order the the stuff for it online and uh, before you know it look at this is all the crap that I've accumulated so, so I'm just gonna go through it here so I've got a bag of magnetite here black sa black sand um, it's a magnetic ferromagnetic material um, I've got some carbon uh, activated carbon masks. Uh, I thought those might be useful for something. Uh, muriatic acid, also known as hydrochloric acid, uh, drain opener, sulfuric acid, TSP, window insulator kit. It's a thermoplastic, um, poly blend, white dry tile grout. Um, it's a whatever grout. Here we've got our different types of actual graphite. Um, different pore sizes or different powder sizes. So. Um, where I got these, they didn't actually say the exact powder size, it was the fine p particles, and it looks pretty fine to me, and got a couple different brands, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, every time I go to the store, I see different, uh, baby washes and stuff, and they've got different, uh, different formulations that have different polymers in them. I've learned way more about polymers than I could ever imagine, so, yeah, um, here's some annotates, uh, titanium dioxide. I've also got a bunch of, um, I think it's brookite or, no, what's the, the main one is, uh, whatever, the other type of titanium dioxide, the other crystal structure. I got like five pounds of it there. And I got a bunch of zeolite, like the coarse one, zeolite, and I've got hydrogen peroxide, uh, non-acetone containing uh, fingernail polish remover powdered zeolite, ammonium, ammonium sulfite, um, teflon powder, also known as PTFE, oh, my kitty. and then we got all different types of PVA glue, uh, quick water, it's a, a fast setting uh, polymer, um, similar to epoxy, Casting resin or polyester casting resin, uh, silicone, sodium bromide, um, ammonium oxide, or sorry, aluminum oxide. Uh, this stuff was on sale, it was like $2 for uh, zinc naphthalene, I think it's called. Um, latex enamel paint, or yeah, ivory latex enamel paint, so that's probably already got some titanium dioxide in it already. Um, sheer stick, just another polymer that you find around the house that's probably useful for something um, yeah what else here uh, da -da 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 -da. borax borax is good shit jello um, oh we've got some vegetable glycerin and we've got uh, white petroleum jelly um, let's go through the powders uh, ferric oxide or whatever um, red um, iron rust, right? Um, this is a thermite mixture of aluminum, powdered aluminum, um, and uh, and iron oxide. Um, yeah, I made that a long time ago. Dug it up. And this is just aluminum powder here, just straight aluminum, has not been oxidized. And I believe this is straight iron oxide 
<sighs> I'm still waiting. Oh, and I've got some distilled water. Um, I'm working on getting my distiller back up and running again. Oh, I've also got, um, so I can make my own distilled and deionized water, whatever. Um, calcium carbonate. That envelope there is another thing of calcium carbonate, which I got in the mail. It had a stab mark right in the side of it. Right, right through the hole of it, like right through the center of the thing. Um, it came from Mexico, I guess, is where they sent it from. So obviously, the customs, they saw a big thing of white powder and they thought, cocaine, and stabbed it. And they realized that it wasn't what they were looking for and sent it anyway. So it's kind of weird. Um, here's my power supply and for electrolysis purposes and electro de deposition or whatever. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. Um, if anybody has any suggestions on what direction, oh, methyl hydrate, forgot about that one. On what direct, if anybody has any suggestions what direction I should go, um, as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of options right now. Um, I'm going to start out by just making some, some graphene, just straight up making some graphene with some uh, sulfuric acid and uh, and some phosphoric acid. That's in the basement right now. I should have brought it up to show you guys, but uh, anyways, I'm just going to make a simple mix of sulfuric acid and phosphoric acid and uh, just make some graphene oxide and go from there you know I'm just gonna probably the first one I'm gonna make is just a mix of that there in a latex enamel with uh, some titanium dioxide and just put some activated carbon and some graphene on uh, on an aluminum foil sheet with a, with a bit of the, the paint as a electro or sorry as a, a dielectric and then use like a phosphoric acid uh, electrolyte and yeah, just go from there and just uh, start getting more and more compli complicated as I go along and hopefully I'll have some good results. Anyways, yeah, I hope to hear some suggestions from you guys out there. So that's the only way that I'm going to really make any progress is uh, yeah, working with all you guys. Oh, and the other thing is um, any discoveries I should make, which I don't think I'm going to make any, I'm probably just going to use patents of other people's um, and just use already existing technology, but if there is any other um, inventions that I do come across or techniques that I pioneer myself, um, I will be offering them up to everybody. I'm not going to patent anything because that's just like a whole lot of work to develop a business based around a patent and get the money to pay for the patent blah 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 fuck that shit man um yeah it's for everybody to share i'm not a greedy person all i want is some sick ass capacitors so i can basically run my house off of them anyways yep all right take it easy good luck and good night